happy day, project day. Just like every other day. We have so many projects going on right now. Okay, the moment has arrived. We're putting the windows in. Okay, today we're gonna put some stuff on the back of the boat, which is gonna be the push pit and the bimini top. So we're gonna talk about wood protection today. We're gonna be talking about wood protection with you today. And it's always important to protect your wood before you go for a long, hard sail. <laughs> Good morning. I hope you slept well. Today, project day. Just like every other day. We have so many projects going on right now. I'm gonna show you the first one. Today's project, I wanna work on the fridge and as I dig, it gets worse. So as you can see, it's like pretty much breaking up all over. And this is a supporting structure that's actually holding the fridge up. So I'm gonna remove this whole piece of wood get it out, keep it as intact as possible because actual screw holes have their sections underneath where they will screw into and use this as a template to get a new piece of marine grade whatever this is, MDF most probably and then get a laminated top and a laminated seam and then at least I can properly get to this fridge and do as much insulation work on the back and along the sides. Okay, if we take a look here those are holes I drilled with uh, that size one. So what I can do is, is this insulation foam that's called Great Stuff. Okay, you can use this on an angle because it can kind of twist. And then I can feed it through this hole like that and go down and all around like a squirt around each of these holes go there I'm going to do another set of holes here and then I'm going to run some holes along the side here and all like three rows there and then I will be putting a new plank in here and using this insulation foam I'm going to build that up onto the planks at the top here and then seal the edges with this insulating foam again so I made plenty of holes in there and then I go squirt it in till the stuff just comes squirting out back at me. Don't worry about the mess. This stuff is stuff that you can cut away. It's expanding foam. So just like that stuff, you can just use a knife to cut it off, sand it back. I'm thinking maybe I'm gonna do a layer of fiberglass on the inside here. We've got nice matte fiberglass. And then I just run one layer around this and maybe just hit it with a coat of paint as well. So now I'm applying the second coat of this epoxy primer. Hopefully it will look good after this one. Eh? So we're just waiting for it to dry after we sanded it and then that new piece of wood's gonna go on there. This floor is in, that floor is in, and this is where that new piece is gonna go. Right there, so it's uniformity coming down. Okay, we, we've been trying to make this part of the show about wood but we've been laughing so much about all the comments you can make about this wood. <laughs> so we're going to talk about wood protection today. We're going to be talking about wood protection with you today. And it's always important to protect your wood before you go for a long, hard sail. <laughs> okay, so let's get into the wood talk. Would we? <laughs> okay, guys. So what we have here is the new counter for moonlight and I have varnished it twice. So let's talk about varnish and I feel like varnish is some of the first things I ever learned about sailing and keeping boats in a, in a good condition and the reason why is I met this guy in Curacao when I sailed in from uh, Virgin Gorda and he said if you can varnish nicely you might be able to find jobs on boats all over the world and I was like wow I need to figure it out. If you want to find out more about all of this go to Vomeo and check out the whole a process of getting your wood looking as nice as mine. Doesn't look like it's your first time doing this. 
course, you had to drop me in one of those situations. <laughs> no, but it's going to look like it. I think it's going to be going to bring it back to life. Okay, so we've sanded it with 80. We've hit it with an alcohol um, cloth to get all the dust off as much as possible. And this is the before product. I'm going to put one coat on and then I'm going to show you what it looks like then. All right, I'm done with the first coat and it doesn't look really amazing yet but it's definitely better as the beginning and that's just the first coat so we'll see afterwards what it looks like it looks already much better outside everybody is working feverishly to get the last few jobs done before moonlight heads to bahamas and i am trying feverishly to get the guys to help me with two projects one is the windows because i'm a little bit intimidated to cut giant holes in the side of little miss measure five times hopefully cut once and then the bimini top because i need a second person to hold the frame so i can get the little feet stands in so you guys hopefully will see that project today currently i believe that stefan and bianca are outside varnishing the new galley countertop for moonlight so let's go check that out get those spots okay so now you know that this side is already done okay you don't want to touch it again so now what you're going to do is you take your brush and you put it there, put it there. Okay, where we you have just a wiggly did. monster. Okay, if we have a wiggly monster, you have one shot to get it out. Otherwise, it's done. Okay, it's out. Okay, now take your brush lightly and just bring it there. Okay? Mm -hmm. The other side. Okay, now go down and see if you've missed anything on the line that you're working on. See, everything is fine. Okay? Look how, look how smooth it's here. That's gonna become like that as well. Okay. So now you can do this side. Do that side. Now remember, you don't want to take your brush over where you've done that. Okay. Once you've done it, it's done. You have only one shot with varnishing. Okay. So you need a little bit more varnish quickly. Okay. There's a holiday, big holiday there. So quickly take some more. I did this before. Okay. Okay, today we're going to put some stuff on the back of the boat, which is going to be the push pit and the bimini top. So Aubrey's just going to drill the holes for us so we can put the push pit up again. All right, we have one in and there's a little bit bent, so we're going to go for this one. See, this one is off the boat, so I'm going to have to kind of bend it in. And so we're going to do this hole first. Go ahead. That's it. Good job. Okay, ready for the nuts. We've got 12 bolts in and we only stripped six. <laughs> I don't think the push bit's going anywhere. And there you have it. Our safe little sailing cradle. Good day world. So it's baby Jesus here. So on the other hand, uh, behind me here is Edward, the mad scientist place. And today I'm gonna show you around and show you the process of making the windows and a few odds and ends that we have been tasked with building this weekend. Okay, so I hope you're excited as I am. Um, we're gonna head in right now. We let's go find the crazy scientist. Cool. Noise and beautiful machines all around me. This gets me excited. Let's go find this guy. Knock knock. Oh, hey, Cyril. G'day. Hey, how you doing? So we're getting yourself. All right. Well, just for everybody who doesn't know, tell you what we're here to do today. So I'm a CNC fabrication shop in Vero Beach, and the gang came to me and said, "Hey, uh, we got these boat windows, and they were plastic windows. This is the actual window, one of them, and you can see that the acrylic inside of it is, or it's actually called polycarbonate. It's a, a, like an impact resistant material." is really um, weathered and uh, it's kind of... Past its sell by date. Yeah. <laughs> I suggested doing something out of wood, like some hardwood windows and stuff, and they liked the idea. 
And so we decided that's what we we're gonna do. So, and um, I came up with a design and this is the design I came up with right here. It's gonna be in several pieces. You have a back piece that fits inside the boat, the window, a seal, an outer piece, and then we're putting a really cool brass ring in there. This is an illustration of the, the way the two sides marry together. And so the next step would, would be to actually take these drawings and turn them into a workable um, 3D model that I could actually put on the machine and cut out of wood. I've already done one of the windows and now we're here. I'm here with Searle today He's gonna give me a hand today, and we're gonna try to knock out as much as we can today. Hopefully get him done This is my Laguna router. This is a cabinet making router. I use it for a lot of different things I use it for cutting aluminum making plastics and um, Boat windows now so. <laughs> so this is the frame that he stuck together and from this, we're going to turn it into a beautiful piece of art, such as this. You can see this was the trial, and look at this beautiful brass inlay. Wow, some good craftsmanship. You can see he's got placed all these also brass inserts. Yeah, that's going to work really well. Okay, the moment has arrived. We're putting the windows in. Or at least we're starting to. So let's show you what we're working on. So these boards are the new templates that were cut from the CAD. And uh, we just finished putting in something that's very exciting. These little pieces of brass. So we're gonna stain these and we're going to put them in. But first, here's the brass. So here's the brass that we used and we just made a little, I don't know, when we decided to fashion these windows, I said, how can we make them look in there Fancy. even nicer? <laughs> so Aubrey and I decided we're gonna put this brass in. So we had a little groove cut in the windows that we designed ourselves, or Aubrey really did. And then we just finished put this in and I think it's gonna look amazing. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna put a little gel stain on it, I think. I don't know what color this is going to be. When, yeah, it's pretty blonde wood. Don't you think it would look nice? You think against the darker wood of the handrails? That's teak. Oh. Uh, so you have to stain it a little bit. I was thinking of it. It's not just like putting in a window at the house. It's a lot of engineering. Let me show you. So we are running a line all the way around the boat to find our center point. And then we're gonna mark the center point on this window. Which is the template. Template, template of the window. Then we're going to line the lines up. We're gonna put this behind here. And then we will take a Sharpie. Take a very thin Sharpie and go around this area, then we cut it out. So these were made in CAD um, of the inner flange of the window. So. I hope this works because we're cutting holes in the side of the boat. Yeah, Stefan's favorite thing. My favorite thing. <laughs> How do you feel that you almost rebuilt this whole boat or that you actually rebuilt this whole boat? Okay. Uh, well, I didn't know what I didn't know and now I know. <laughs> so <laughs> That's a very good observation. <laughs> um, I kept telling myself, 10 days more of work, 10 days, 10, 10, 10 days more work. And it was like t -t 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 10 days until it was 377 days. <laughs> but no, we love this boat. She's, she's a good boat, so we're happy. And now when there's anything that's gone wrong, I can open up the, the cupboard or the cabinet or the bilge and rewire or patch a hole or... Or know who to blame. Or know who to blame. Yeah, ex yeah exactly. I'm like, Searle! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is what it looks like from the inside. And very nice breeze coming through. 
It's never nice to look out of a boat and see hairy legs. Ooh, there's a nice leg. Do it again. <laughs> yeah, it's going to look very, very nice. Oh, and we have, of course, our aircon. Bianca, tell everybody on YouTube how hot is it in, in Florida right now? 580 degrees. No, um, oh, no, no, hold on, I'm sorry. Um, I'm a little bit under-exaggerating. <laughs> How about, um, it's more like 5,080 degrees. Do you like it here in Florida? No. Do you want to go back to Colorado? Um, yes, yes, yes. Oh, and this is how my younger sibling's treating me. What are you doing right now? What are you doing? Tell um, me what you're doing. Tell me what the new generation is doing for fun. TikTok. The only TikTok I know is the stuff on clocks. That's my TikTok. Okay, so what am I doing? Am I checking so the height? I want to visually see that this is sitting with the same gap over here all the way across. I guess. Should we be measuring? Maybe this gap along the line, sh along the top, should be the same. I don't think it needs to be level though. No, it needs to be level to this line. Are you sure? Because that, that looks... Lower your side down. I don't know, what do you guys think on, on, on YouTube? Does it need to be yeah, level? It looks like a small gap here. And a big gap yeah, there. Yeah, but I this think... side is also still getting taller. So I would understand. I think that's rather... We, what if we tip it down and make it... I like that. ...level on the bottom. Okay, then you need to bring your side up a little bit. Because I got... That looks nice. That looks better, I think. Okay, so that's the frame. And I think we've decided that... It, it's going to be level at the top to look the best, hey? I think so. It needs to follow this line, this lip right here. Yeah, and I think it's going to look beautiful. What does it look like from the inside? Looks pretty good. It's kind of like, if we level it with the top, it looks really weird on the inside. Really? Yeah, because we have this line doesn't look doesn't look what you expected no my outfit look good the bugs were eating me so I just stained these guys so here's the before and the after before and after yeah very proud of mom thank you She's the best hard-working mom in the world. Thank you. What do you think of the stain? I love the stain. Looks beautiful. Well done. I think you chose the right one. And the sun is setting. The South Africans are making a braai. Aubrey still standing. Are these your glasses too? And let me show you what I have for you, seeing that we're on land. Yes. Yes! As let's talk about the price of steak in this country. Almost $13 for a 1.35 pounds. So a 400 gram. Betaal 160 grand. It's kind of expensive. Okay, now that is what I'm talking about. Good job. I'm just hiding the... Improvise. <laughs>